Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Social media companies have been accused of a disgraceful failure in their efforts to tackle terrorist propaganda and hate speech online. The Commons Home Affairs Select Committee says the firms are putting more effort into protecting their profits than keeping people safe. Google, Facebook and Twitter previously defended their approach to online safety, as Richard Galpin reports. Propaganda videos from extremists. Facing down a new coming storm. Hate speech, sexualized images of children, all should be removed much more rapidly from social media sites, according to today's report. The Home Affairs Committee took evidence from the tech giants Facebook, Twitter and Google, which owns YouTube. They have billions of users around the world and MPs have lost patience. Well, I think the richest, biggest companies in the world have both the ability and a responsibility to make sure that this kind of illegal and dangerous material is removed. I don't think they are taking this seriously enough, and I think they need to. And it's not just angry words being fired off at the tech firms. The report also suggests some tough sanctions, imposing multi-million pound fines on companies, failing to remove unacceptable posts fast enough and forcing them to pay for police investigations into suspect online material. But some charities want MPs to go further. The NSPCC thinks there should be an independent regulator to hold social media companies to account and that that regulator should have teeth, in other words, the ability to uh, you know, force companies to take certain actions. But is it really possible for the companies to pick out extremist and abusive material amid the millions of posts being put up on social media sites every day. There is certainly more that companies can do and they themselves have acknowledged that. They could be improving takedown times, uh, partnering with each other to flag content across platforms, but we should also be careful. The way that systems work, the way that platforms work is that they have a limited liability for the content that is on there. Much like the post office can't steam open every single envelope to see if a criminal is sending another message to another criminal, so at the moment, social media companies are still largely reliant on their users reporting what they consider to be illegal material. And for the MPs who wrote today's report, that is not acceptable. They're now expecting the tech giants to do much more. Richard Galpin, BBC News. MPs are recommending an escalating system of sanctions against social media giants like Facebook and Twitter who fail to tackle illegal content like hate speech and sexual images of children. The Home Affairs Select Committee said there was nowhere near enough being done to tackle abuse and extremism, claiming the biggest firms were big enough, rich enough and clever enough to sort the problems out. Here's our senior Home Affairs correspondent, Simon Israel. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all in the firing line for doing too little too late to combat social media's worst excesses. The hate, the abuse, the misogyny, the extremism, much of it illegal, yet remains online. The message from today's report is clear. Time's running out for these social media giants. I think they've got a responsibility to find some of this material themselves and not just expect the taxpayer to fund the police to try and find it instead. These are some of the richest and biggest companies on the planet. I think they've got a responsibility to act. A committee was aghast at the material readily available. Today we found a terrorist recruitment video, one on how to become a Holocaust denier in 14 minutes, and another clearly expressing anti-Muslim sentiment. Recently, London's mayor launched an online hate crime hub. The cost £1.7 million, which some argue is not even pocket money to the social media operators. That's an expensive operation, and that, that would, uh, be, could be assisted by contributions from, this, uh, from those uh, social media outlets. You know, they're not poor. Um, and we're just trying to say to them, we can help you police those sites, but you've got to uh, make a contribution as well. Germany is threatening to enforce contributions, 
with penalties of up to £42 million for failure to remove content within 24 hours. The Select Committee here is urging the government to do the same with the system of escalating sanctions. The response from YouTube? We take this issue very seriously. We've recently tightened our advertising policies and enforcement, made algorithmic updates and are expanding our partnerships with specialist organisations working in this field. Facebook said, we agree with the committee that there is more we can do to disrupt people wanting to spread hate and extremism online. One company in Singapore is exploring how violent clickbait could be proactively curbed by creating computer models to recognise actions. We take a lot of videos and we uh, train those particular sequences as fighting and, when, and then we have got a model ready. It's rather than reacting to a user's complaint, which may be too late to prevent hate going viral. Simon Israel. I've been